Good morning, children. How are you all? Fine. Okay, that's very good. So, as we have completed this chapter yesterday, today I will discuss or I will try to make you understand the exercise question answer and one more time I will revise this but in a brief way. So, we have learned yesterday that there are many uses of plants. There are many uses of plants. Today, I am just revising it once more. Plants give us food. Yes, we know it that we get different type of fruits from plants like papaya, banana, grapes, orange, apple, mango, etc. And we get vegetables also from plants like carrot, carrot, cabbage, beetroot, radish, potato, turnip, etc. We get nuts also like almonds, almonds, cashew nut, walnut, groundnut and some cereals also we get from pulse, cereals and pulses also we get from plants. So those are rice, wheat, maize, barley, etc. So these are called like these food grains. Basically these are dried seeds. So they are called as cereals. We get tea, coffee, cocoa and sugar also from plants or trees. Some spices like black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaf also, turmeric also we get from plants. Plants give us oil as well. Okay, to nourish our hair and for cooking purposes also we get oil from plants like coconut oil, sunflower oil, mustard oil. These all are, these basically these two are cooking oil. Coconut oil you used to like, uh, we like to, we used to put on our hair to keep it healthy. Plants give us medicines as well like tulsi, neem, clove, turmeric. And in this scorching heat we used to wear cotton clothes. This cotton clothes we get from cotton plants. This cotton we get from this cotton we get the thread and the thread turns into yarn and with that yarn we get the fiber, main fiber of our clothes, right? Then jute fiber, from jute fiber we get jute bags. And the paper or the books which we are using or on which we are writing notebook. So this paper also we are getting from bamboo plant. And we get gum from acacia tree and we get rubber from rubber tree. So these are the things. And we get wood from plants on trees only. The trees like teak, oak, bamboo. These all, these all types of trees they give us wood and the soap, shampoo or perfume which we are using we get from plants only and yesterday I didn't like discuss this thing but it's very it's also very important that many birds, monkeys and small an animals live on plants. Trees and smaller plants provide food and shelter to animals. So you see these trees or plants, they are not only useful for us, they are also useful for the animal world. Why? Because they are giving, these plants only, they are giving shelter to them. And as well as they are providing food. You see, monkey, <laughs> monkey used to live on trees, birds also and their nets. So, they keep, actually they take shelter on tree. Plants keep the air we breathe fresh and clean. They also make our surroundings beautiful. You see, if you see your like surroundings greener, green, you'll feel very happy. And uh, it's an old saying that if you get up early and if you work on green grass, it actually enhances your eyesight. Clear? Now let us do the exercise. Now comes exercise part. 
which of these part do we eat as vegetable as i told you children that we used to eat the root part stem part leaf part flower part and as well as seed and fruit part of a plant so which part of this do we eat as vegetable root yes we do eat it stem yes we do it just like asparagus leaves like cabbage and root like potato so we eat actually not only single single thing but all of this so here we get the answer or the option all of this so this will be the correct one which of these plants give us medicines is it neem yes of course tulsi yes of course turmeric yes of course so three of these are correct so i will go for all of this which of these plants give us fibers to make clothes now you tell me children is it tea is it tea no neem no maize no it's cotton which of these does bamboo give us which of these bamboo give us is it soap no fiber no oil no it's wood which of the following is used to make perfumes turmeric no cotton no coconut no it's jasmine clear give two examples for each of the following cereals what are cereals children yesterday we learned that dry seeds like wheat maize barley these things are actually these are the seed dry seeds of a plant and these food grains we call it as cereals so you need to give two example of each of these cereals so i have written here rice or wheat you can write other things also like it is given here let me show you it's given here rice wheat maize and barley so you can write any one of the any two of these four now spices what is the use of spices tell me it's actually add flavor and color to our food so turmeric and paper or black paper plants that give us wood it's stick and oak now the matching thing jute from jute do we get tire or jute bag so it will be jute bag number 1 cotton from cotton what do we get chair or cotton clothes yes it's cotton clothes rubber is very easy from rubber we get tires number 4 tick it's a wood actually it is used for making furniture so this one will be the correct answer now comes the question answers part for this i have a copy for you all as you can see ma'am has written the questions for you so let us read some extra questions or inside questions are also here so that you can understand the chapter like in a better way answer the following questions from where do we get fruits and vegetables tell me yes correct one we get fruits and vegetables from plants we get fruits and vegetables from plants name any two cooking oils which we get from plants so name of cooking oils which we get from plants are sunflower oil and mustard oil name some spices which add flavor to our food turmeric black pepper cardamom cinnamon what is so what is fiber clothes are made from thin like materials called fiber or clothes are made of made from thin thread like material called fibers now the next one just wait a bit children yes from which plant do we get paper from bamboo plant we get paper from which plant do we get glue or gum from acacia tree 
from acacia many people used to say this acacia but it's actually acacia from acacia tree we get glue or gum what are clothes made from name any two fibers that we get from plants so clothes clothes are made from or made of fibers name of two fibers which we get from plants are jute and cotton give two ways in which plants are useful to animals many animals birds take shelter on plants this is a one way or one use and trees provide food to many animals now the next question how plants keep the air fresh we used to say no that uh, plant more trees plant more trees so it helps actually the air to keep the air fresh and clean which is very good for us so how plants actually take in carbon dioxide and gives and give out oxygen plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen in this process air becomes pollution free and fresh so plants take in carbon dioxide see we are inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide plants plants are doing just the opposite they actually take plants take in the carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen so in this process only air becomes pollution free and fresh next question from which plants do we get wood from which plants do we get wood plants such as teak oak bamboo give us wood from which plant do we get wood from teak oak and bamboo so we have mostly done the question answers some questions are there at the book back like book back exercise so questions are what are pulses give two examples in pdf yesterday i have sent some question along with the answer it was in your uh, assignment part so what are pulses tell me children what are pulses did you answer it so it is actually dried seeds dried seeds of leguminous crops called pulses so these are called pulses like moong dal chickpeas kidney beans these all are dried seeds these are called pulses next question next question is what are cotton what are clothes made from what are clothes made clothes made from clothes are made from fiber and there are actually two fibers which we get from plants they are cotton fiber and jute so where do we get rubber from we get rubber we get rubber from rubber tree and the two things which we get from rubber are tell me so we get tires and pipes from rubber give any two ways in which plants are useful to us or sorry plants are useful to animals so plants actually they give uh, they provide food they provide food to animals and as well as they give shelter to many animals so in this way plants are very useful to us this was actually the whole chapter is one more time i'm just discussing this so that you understand each and every point exercise which of these plants plants part do we eat as vegetables so roots stem leaves all of these we eat as vegetables so answer will be all of this which of these plants give us medicine neem tulsi turmeric all of this which of these plants give us fibers to make clothes cotton will be the correct answer because maize neem and tree these are the wrong one which of these does bamboo give us so bamboo give us wood if uh, instead of wood if you get the option as paper you will tick on that only which of these following is used to make perfumes answer is jasmine give two examples for each of the following you have to give two example for each of these items so first one is cereals cereals like rice and wheat spices turmeric and paper 
प्लांट्स दैट गिव अस वुड इट्स टू इट्स टीक ओक बैम्बू और यू कैन राइट सिंपली टीक और ओक दिस आर द मैचिंग थिंग इट्स वेरी इजी फ्रॉम जूट वी गेट जूट बैग फ्रॉम कॉटन वी गेट कॉटन क्लोथ्स फ्रॉम रबर वी गेट टायर एंड फ्रॉम टीक वी गेट चेयर और फर्नीचर हियर चेयर ऑप्शन एज इट्स गिवेन द पिक्चर इज गिवेन एज चेयर सो वी विल गो फॉर दिस ओनली and one more thing i want to discuss that is uh the keywords yesterday i forgot to discuss this now i am doing it so keywords cereals so what are what is or what are cereals cereals are grains of plants such as rice wheat and maize cereals are actually the grains of plants such as rice wheat and maize pulses pulses are dried seeds of some plants not all plants but some plants like kidney beans chickpeas moong dal chana dal etc fibers fibers thin thread like material used to make clothes thin thread like materials used to make clothes these are called as fiber so what is your homework you will be doing this choose the correct option give to example you will give date of today you will write as homework and you will give date of today it is 21st of april 23 and you will do all of this in your book this matching thing also you will do and the question answer i will send you can write those question in your copies okay one more homework i will give and i will send in your class group okay till then you stay happy and be safe okay children bye bye have a nice day